What's up, YouTube viewers? Name is Mike Casey. I'm going to show you how to speed up Firefox using a few simple commands. All right, first things first. If you don't have Firefox, recommend getting it. All right. To do so, open up your browser. As you can see, you've got Firefox open. In the address bar, right here, type in about colon config. Okay. When you do so, since I've already got it up, you'd scroll down till you find a section with network.http. Yeah, right here. <laughs> okay. There are a few things that you'll need to add or change in order to do so. You will notice a big difference in it as well. All right, first one is the network.http connection force connect. This is a new boolean. I'll show you how to add those right now. All right. Right click, go down to new string integer boolean. You would want to type in click boolean box comes up you type this right here on this highlighted into the preference name I'm not going to do that since I've already got it in alright that's one of them and what it does is it forces the connection from your computer to your internet provider servers aka IP servers alright that's one of them down here, force upload, which will force the servers to upload to your system. You'd want to type in, uh, put it in as a new boolean, as well as true. All right. Down here on the connections, connections per server, you can change these integer values. Just double click, and since this one's already in there, just put in your new number. Those change your connections and your connections to the server. You also have persistent connections per proxy and per, and per server. You want to change those as well because the default values are very low. This allows a lot more data to come through your <laughs> uh, yeah through your network. All right, down here you've got pipelining connections, pipelining, and pipelining max request, pipelining SSL. You want to have those at a fairly high number. All right, now these two down here, the preload cache and preload cache delay, those are how much data is stored in the uh, web browser's memory. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot to actually set a preload cache amount. I'm going to do that now. New integer. There we go. And just as a quick reminder, all numbers in here for any type of memory are in megabytes. So, 
I'm going to put in 512 or 512. Should notice a big difference in your speed and upload times whenever you do so. Okay. Also, this network uh, keep alive timeout. That's how long the browser will attempt to establish a connection to a site before it actually says server cannot be found or a 405 error will come up. One of the two. Don't know which. Anyways. Uh, Anyways, I'm going to leave this up here for now, and if you need to pause this video at any time, in case I went through something too quickly, feel free to do so. This is as a free reference for those that don't want a slow browser. Alright, Mike Casey, signing off. Everyone, have a good day.